Hi, y'all. I've been a bit sick, so uh, I might sound a little bit stuffy here, but uh, these are some Dinar Guru updates. Starting off with Militiaman, says there is an existence of the Chapter 7 Charter of the United Nations that has not yet been resolved. It's still restricting the sovereignty at the international level. Uh, the pressure is on, and it looks like the UN is waving that flag to Iraq, reminding them that there is that component still. Walking stick uh, information from Iraq Bank owner number one friend. Uh, walking stick says ever since, um, I'm sorry, the friends that ever since Sudani came back from Washington D.C., the government of Iraq has been in the process of making videos, commercials, advertising. Sudani has been doing this on behalf of the executive level of all private banks. These videos will soon be released and shown on Iraqi television and the big screens. Sudani and the GOI are making these videos with the executive branch of each bank to teach the Iraqi citizens about the new national currency and the process of the new exchange rate. Uh, Walking Stick says there will be a primary video, a spearhead video. The videos will be with the head of the private banks, the governor of Central Bank of Iraq, the whole of the board members, the governor of Iraq, Sudani himself, the minister of planning, the minister of finance, and the minister of oil. It will encompass all of the GUI of Sudani because the GUI encompasses the entire executive branch. These videos will explain to the Iraqi citizens the process of the monetary reform and where it is at that moment. All right, Ray Ren 98 uh, via Baby's Mom. The new window indicated tonight, tomorrow. We shall see. Time will tell. Frank 26, Iraq Boots on the Ground Report Firefly, says ever since Sudani came back from Washington, D.C., he has been talking to us about metal coins and paper fills. He said the coins are both silver and gold. Frank says the monetary reform education is being presented to the Iraqi citizens. Claire has an article quote next week. Uh, UNAMI presents its periodic briefing quote. The mission will submit its periodic briefing to Security Council next week without mentioning further details regarding that briefing. Yesterday, the Iraqi government submitted a request to the Security Council and the Secretary General of the United Nations to reduce the mandate of the United Nations mission uh, UNAMI and to conduct an objective evaluation of its work in preparation for ending its mission and closing it permanently. Mark via PDK says the progress has been steady as we grind to the finish line, but remember, we don't know when, we don't know the timing, but they are openly discussing the new rates and openly preparing for them. Uh, uh, Guru Fnu Lu, uh, this is response to BGG's Dinar verification uh, from the 13th, uh, says, when I had my Dinar process, the UST agent ran the Dinar through the computer, which was not dissimilar to a cash counting machine. The machine had a De La Rue and signed on it. The banking industry had been using that type of machine for a long time, and bank personnel are well versed on its use. Cash Systems LLC says nothing about this machinery on its website. However, De La Rue does say they do own hardware and software for the verification methodology. It is irrelevant as to who makes the machine as, process, as the process is the same. Such hair splitting is not necessary and serves no purpose as to the meat of the subject. Caperoni says if and when Iraq does decide to float their currency, there will be no RV prior when a currency floats, it begins whatever the exchange rate is at the time, and its value is determined by various factors. Frank 26 says the only reason Sudani went to Washington was because of the monetary reform and banking changes. It had nothing to do with Iraq forces or American military forces. That was just a cover-up screen. Lastly, I have Mountain Goat, uh, who says Iraq is always much farther ahead than it seems in these articles. As they can read a bit gloomy at times, there is a ton more work to be done. 
but in reality, they are much, much closer to accomplishing most of the goals to the pillars of financial reform as we realize as needed to progress forward into the international arena and play ball with the big guys. Folks, it's coming. We can't stop it now, and it is just a matter of time.